Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, October 20th, and it is 12.13 in the afternoon. I turned on my apps at 12 o'clock, and it took about 10 minutes to get my first order. It is a $7 order for a little over two miles, which is a great way to start the day. And So in today's video, we are going to have on Uber Eats and DoorDash, and since we are very close to Halloween, I think we may have a couple Halloween topics to talk about. Hmm. On my way to deliver this first order, I'm enjoying looking at everyone's decorations, Halloween's gonna be here soon, and I started thinking to myself, when did Halloween even begin? When do people start dressing up? When do people start trick-or-treating? Join me as we go back in time down this Halloween rabbit hole. Halloween's origins are found to date back all the way to the Celtic festival of Samhain. The Celts lived about 2,000 years ago around where current day Ireland, UK, and Northern France are. They celebrated their new year on November 1st as they said it marked the end of the summer harvest and the start of winter, which is often associated with human death. The Celts believe that on the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. It was on October 31st that they celebrated Samhain, when the ghosts of the dead returned to earth. To celebrate, huge sacred bonfires were built where they burned crops and animals as a sacrifice to the Celtic deities. Costumes were worn during the celebration, such as animal heads and skins. Eventually, the Roman Empire overtook the majority of the Celtic territory. During that time, two festivals of Roman origin were combined with the Celtic Samhain celebration. The Feralia festival was a day in late October where the Romans commemorated the passing of the dead. The second festival was Pomona, a day to honor the Roman goddess of fruit and trees. The symbol of Pomona is the apple, and this is where the tradition of bobbing for apples most likely originated from. Okay, dropped off, no issue. They wanted it left at door, do not ring doorbell, my favorite type of drop off. It is warm today. Today's supposed to be one of the last days in the 70s and then we are finally gonna be down to the 50s and 60s. I really feel that October weather, I cannot wait. I wanna wear long sleeves, I wanna wear a hoodie, but I'll never get, um, I'll never get hot coffee. Always iced coffee for me. Do I have any other iced coffee or iced tea fans out there who still drink their cold drinks in the winter? Let me know in the comments below. I'm driving back to my strip of restaurants to get my next order, but back to all things Halloween. By the 9th century, Christianity had influenced much of the Celtic lands. The church made November 2nd All Souls Day to honor the dead. It was believed that the church was attempting to replace the Celtic festivals of the dead with a church-sanctioned holiday. All Souls Day was celebrated much like Samhain with bonfires, parades, and costumes that now evolved into dressing like saints, angels, and devils. This was also called All Hallows Day, and the night before it was called All Hallows Eve, and eventually Halloween. In America, it wasn't until the middle of the 19th century when autumn festivals were common, but Halloween was not yet celebrated everywhere until the second half of the 19th century when America was flooded with new immigrants, especially Irish immigrants, who were fleeing Ireland due to the Irish potato famine. Their influence helped spread the celebration of Halloween nationally. All right, I just accepted a stacked order. It is $11 going two miles from Chipotle, which is right there, and then Panera, which is gonna be right over there. So I'm gonna go get those. $11, two bucks, that's what I like. Here we go. Okay, I'm taking you with me to Panera and Chipotle while we talk about trick-or-treating. The American Halloween tradition of trick-or-treating probably dates back to the early All Souls Day parades in England. 
During the festivities, poor citizens would beg for food and families would give them these pastries called soul cakes in return for their promise to pray for the family's dead relatives. The distribution of soul cakes was encouraged by the church as a way to replace the ancient practice of people leaving food and wine outside their doors to appease the souls and stop them from entering their homes. The practice, which was referred to as going a souling, was eventually taken up by children who would visit the houses in the neighborhood and be given ale, food, and money. In Scotland and Ireland, young people took part in a tradition called guising, dressing up in costume and accepting offerings from households. They would sing a song, recite a poem, tell a joke, or perform another sort of trick before collecting their treat, which typically consisted of fruit, nuts, or coins. Hence, trick-or-treating. Okay, both those orders were ready. Uh, Panera was sitting on the shelf. I walked into Chipotle and saw the empty shelves, and I was like, no. But the girl was just coming out behind the counter and handed it directly to me, so we are good to go. Drop off number one, three minutes away, one mile. On we go. And what would a holiday in America be without talking about money? <laughs> According to the National Retail Federation, consumers are expected to spend a record $10 billion plus for Halloween. That's up from $8 billion last year, 2020. The top three spending categories are as follows. $3.32 billion on costumes, $3.17 billion on decorations, and $3 billion on candy. The NRF predicts the average consumer is expected to spend around $102.74 on costumes, candy, and decorations this year on Halloween. I have to admit, I do love two controversial Halloween candies. I feel like I'm one of the very few who actually enjoys candy corn and those black and orange wrap candies called peanut butter kisses. Is anyone else with me or am I alone in this? Please let me know in the comments below your favorite and least favorite Halloween candy. I did get one more Chipotle order to wrap up the lunch hour, bringing my total to $25.48 for the hour, but this time I had to wait a long time in Chipotle, as you can see. <laughs> Okay guys, I need something from you for one of my next videos. If you would like, either on Twitter or Instagram or my email, I'd love if you sent me a picture of you in your favorite Halloween costume, whether it was when you were a kid, whether it was last year. I would love to see it and love to share it in my next video. If you would like to send in a photo, please let me know if you'd like me to use your name or your YouTube profile name. I could blur out your face if you'd like, but I would just love to see what everyone out there was for Halloween when they were a kid or an adult, whatever your favorite costume was, I'd love to see it and share it in my next video. And as always, if you guys made it to the end of this video, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up if you wish and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.